Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a Lurid Apothecary? Lurid Apothecary <laughs> haul. Um, yes, I'm in front of the camera. Can you even believe it? I have been really wanting to get back to like filming in front of the camera. Life right now is just a little bit crazy. So I do think that this still might be kind of rare and I'm looking like a real hot mess right now, but I had the opportunity and so I wanted to take advantage of it. Um, but Lurid is a vendor that I've been wanting to try. And I think it's my last vendor on my like really wanting to try list. Um, yeah, for the most part. And she had her Harry Potter pre-order. I think it opened on New Year's Eve, if I am remembering correct. And I decided to purchase from it. I was really going back and forth because to be honest with you, not many of the scents on the list I really was like that hyped up about. Like I didn't think that anything was super unique per se. And I have been buying wax for eight years now, seven or eight years. And so I do feel like I'm really at a point in my like wax journey that I want to be buying things that are like unique to my collection. And so when I was going through her scent list for this Harry Potter pre-order, I thought, you know, there's nothing that I like super feel strongly about, but I decided to go ahead and purchase to try the vendor because I love Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm obsessed. And so I thought, you know, this collection really like speaks to me in general. I've been wanting to try Lurid. Um, and the prices were pretty reasonable. Um, I got the snappy bars, like the smaller of the bars. Um, so I felt like I got like a decent amount of stuff to try and, um, and see what I think. So I didn't end up getting a, a decent order. I think I have like seven or eight snappy bars here. And then my sample, I have seen, um, a few other hauls and everybody got a sticker. I either missed it and threw it away or I didn't get a sticker. So I, I'm sure I, I just missed it. I would think in my box, maybe because it's not something that I would like normally look for. Um, I don't know, but either I threw it away or I didn't get a sticker, but that's okay. Um, I got one sample. I am slightly disappointed in this. And after all the drama that's gone on, I feel weird even saying this, but I'm going to, I'm going to say it. Um, I got a sample in Hufflepuff and super generous. Like I'm very glad this is also a very generous size sample. I did pick up Hufflepuff in a snappy bar. Um, and I don't have near like what she offered scent wise. So I do wish I would have gotten a sample in a scent that I didn't, you know, purchase, but, um, yeah, that's my only like complaint was that I, I would have liked to try a different one, but, but that's okay. So I did get a sample in Hufflepuff, which I'll just talk about Hufflepuff when I get to it in the snappy bars. Um, so let's see, I've got seven or so here. The first one is Amortensia Potion, I believe. These are, I mean, beautifully decorated. I love the labels. So th some things I really am enjoying right now about Lurid. This label actually doesn't have it. Wow, which is surprising. Okay, that's interesting. Every other label I think has the pour date on it, but this one doesn't. Unless I'm missing it, but I don't I don't see it. But I do really like these really like unique, um, super fun labels. I like how it has the scent notes. I like that it has the pour dates. Those are things I really enjoy. So 10 out of 10 for that. I'm not sure why this one doesn't have the pour date, but Amor Amortensia Potion. Love Spell, Saltwater Mermaid, and Vanilla Cream. I don't have tons of Love Spell scents, and so I thought this one might be kind of, um, like, unique. And this is good. I don't know what Saltwater Mermaid is. It's just, like, a nice Love Spell. Um, I think this will be good for kind of the spring um, and summer. And like I said, I don't really have a lot of Love Spell, so... That is good. Um, Hufflepuff. Um, I am a Hufflepuff, if you were curious. <laughs> if you, you know, follow Harry Potter too. This is Cream Puff and Sweet Frosting. This 
one's definitely light. I feel like I could benefit from some longer cure time. It's just kind of a, a nice bakery scent. I definitely get kind of that like cream puff note though. I don't think I love this. Um, and I think this will be one that I would mix with something else that I wanted to kind of make a little bit more bakery. Um, but but uh, probably don't really need to melt it on its own. Um, but I mean, it's good. It's just not like a favorite. So then I got, you know, a sample in that too. Honestly, I'll probably just to save bags, I'll just probably just put those little pieces in there. Um, cause those bags have plenty of room, which is nice. Hogwarts school of magic. Um, I'm wondering if like Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry is trademarked or something. It, I, I'm not sure why it's of magic, but in any case, this is rainbow sherbet, cotton candy, cotton candy, and cotton candy frosting. And I love the label. It's got like a little Hogwarts on it, if you can tell. And okay, the glitter in this, just amazing. Look at, they've got like big chunks right here of the sorting hat from Harry Potter, which I think is just, it's so fun. And this one truly smells like rainbow sherbet. Yeah. Super, super sweet rainbow sherbet would be great for the um, summertime. So that's Hogwarts School of Magic. Next is Slytherin. This is key lime pie and pie crust. I don't know if the camera is going to focus on the label, but... It's just the Slytherin House Crest. This one is, okay, this one's super strong, but it is very, very lime. I don't get really any bakery at all. It's good. I guess I just wish there was like a little bit more bakery. But I like it. I'm fine. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Kryptonite from um, Super Tarts. So... Key lime pie and pie crust or Slytherin. This one is super fun. Happy birthday, Harry. And it is just like the birthday cake from um, the Sorcerer's Stone. So this is birthday cake, vanilla frosting, and strawberry cream. This one's risky for me because strawberry is really challenging for me from many vendors. Um, and I don't really, I don't really like this. But I keep trying to buy strawberry from different vendors to see what I like and what I don't and try to find a strawberry from a vendor that I really love. But this to me is that like artificial, it almost smells sour strawberry. I don't know how to describe it to my scent nose because every, my scent nose, is that a thing? My nose. I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but I think you, <laughs> I think you get what I'm saying. Um, everybody, else seems to really love strawberry and for me it just smells off I don't know so there's something about it to me that I just I don't like so this one is not my favorite what I think I've come to realize over the years with strawberry is that I don't like scents that are like fresh strawberry for the most part other than Scentsy's Coastal Strawberry and um oh there's another one from Scentsy what is it Strawberry Rose and those are like a very green strawberry type scent but I think this like fresh strawberry is what I don't like. I think I really like strawberry jam. Um, it's more fruity, kind of caramelized strawberry a little bit. I think I prefer that. So that's a long story just to say that I don't really love this one. Um, but I kind of knew that going in that that was going to be a risk anyway. Next is Gryffindor. Beautiful. I love how like the colors of the bars match like the houses and everything. Um, this is elderberry jam and cornbread muffin. This one was kind of a risk and I think especially after smelling this I've come to realize that I just don't really like cornbread um, in wax. I mean this smells decent. It is like a berry scent with a bakery note to it. Uh, yeah, I just don't think I really love cornbread. It's not bad. I mean, I will enjoy this. And honestly, like I said, when I looked at the scent list for this pre-order, nothing was like super calling to me. So I uh, 
probably like would have passed over this order entirely if it was like any other collection but because it was Harry Potter I thought like I just I have to <laughs> that's just there's something wrong with me it's wax and Harry Potter is just perfect um yeah so not my favorite but is there a little there's little lightning bolts I don't know if you guys can see those are little lightning bolts in that one that one's that's awesome super creative like if you know Harry Potter I think you would get a lot of those references um, but if you don't, just know that she spent a lot of time, like, the colors are right, the decorations are right, like, everything is, that's really, that's really cool. Okay, and then the last one is definitely my favorite one out of the bunch. This is Ravenclaw. This is Palo Santo, uh, Salty Sea Air, Toasted Marshmallow, and Cream. This one, I didn't think I was going to like or... Well, I should, I should backtrack. I am still figuring out if I like Palo Santo or not. I have not decided. In some vendors and in some instances, I think I really like it. And in others, I find that I just don't. And so I'm still getting like my bearings with Palo Santo. But I love Salty Sea Air and I love Toasted Marshmallow. And I think just mix everything mixed together just works so well. Because the Palo Santo, I think, just brings like like a smoky, slightly masculine woodsy scent to the, the bar. But I feel like I mainly get like the toasted marshmallow and salty sea air. I love this. I'm probably getting glitter all over my face. This one is really, really good. Oh, so nice. But um, yeah, this one is definitely my favorite out of the bunch. Um, what else? I really also like, probably my other ones that I really like are the Hogwarts one, the Rainbow Sherbert one, and then also um, the, the Love Spell one. These are probably like my top three from the order. But yeah, that's it. Just a quick haul. I'm really excited to give these some cure time. I'll probably give them at least till March or so. Most of them, everything I think was poured, yeah, like around the 24th of January. So they're getting pretty close to a month at this point, but I'll probably wait until March to see, see what I think. But that is it for this just like quick first impressions in the haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing my hot mess express self um, for a second, <laughs> but that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.